Hello everyone, welcome to eSupport for Research. So using Chart GPT or AI Empower Chart GPT tool or the chatbot, can you generate research paper? Yes, it is possible. And can you publish that research paper in a journal? Yeah, may be possible. Is it ethical or unethical? That's what today we'll discuss. So as you are planning to write your research paper and to write that you want to get help from this AI and power the super AI and power chatbot and that is the chat GPT and uh, I'm not going to tell you how you can able to use chat GPT because why that we'll discuss so the first thing let's see a recently published article this has published in January 2023 and this is a conversation on this AI chatbot and the plagiarism in higher education so this has been done with this chatbot the GPT and the author has asked certain question and the response of it without any sort of editing it has been presented in this article so two responses quickly we will try to will see and i think that might help you to make a decision or to 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 make yourself understand whether it is ethical or not so the first thing uh, mk has asked write a paragraph on, on how ai and chatbot are not inherently good or bad but certainly deserve further attention in terms of their potential for the misuse such as higher education so again ai and chatbot it is the response not inherently good or bad but they are certainly deserve further attention in terms of their potential for misuse such as in higher education blah 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 and Again, you see the last line, this may involve implementing strict policies and regulation as well as educating the individual, he or she that might be using the chatbot on the importance of ethical behavior when using this chart GPT. So this is the response that has been generated itself from the chat GPT to have education policies and regulation which is again new as of now what we have and on that basis let us conclude something you know for this time period so that it will help you to understand on the usage of this chat GPT particularly on research writing. I'm not talking about you should not be uh, relating this thing with the other sort of application but particularly in research writing when we talk about you see another question and answer MK again asked write a paragraph about how college student could potentially use chart GPT to cheat on easy writing so the response you see college student could potentially use G chart GPT to cheat on essay writing assignment by feeding chatbot specific prompt and question and then simply copy pasting the generated responses into their own paper and again this response this chart GPT it is telling that it will be highly unethical it will be highly unethical and could lead to serious consequences which might so here you can relate with the academic policy our UGC policy the Indian author or the researcher you can relate with the UGC policies of 2018 on the academic integrity and on plagiarism so again somebody will if you do that it will take you to that policy and the decision or the penalties will be according to that policy so that policy also I have discussed in one of our video so you can have a look on that as well now let's see few news uh, that recently that has come off 
this is from hindustan times uh, january 21 this year chat gpt co-author research paper it is even ethical and academic debate so this chat gpt being attributed as a study author is not acceptable to number of research paper published because they say AI tool cannot accept responsibility for the content and integrity and scientific paper. So you see it is indirectly telling us that just hold on you should not be using chart GPT directly you know, copy pasting in your paper. Let's see another uh, story or news. This is from a published paper from nature chart GPT listed as author on research paper may or many scientists disapprove so at least four article credit the AI tool as co-author as publisher even somebody might have used and published it but now there will be some scanner over it or some scanning is going on so better to just uh, you know hold on if you have started uh, using chart gpt generated paper or content you have taken directly and you have used it in your academic research writing uh, either in your you know thesis paper writing or any anywhere which which ultimately will be published somewhere because later on once some sort of regulation or policies uh, you know when it will be coming so that time we do not know whether they are going to accept it fully partially or some with some clause so better to just you know do it the way we used to do it in an ethical way another you see Lancet here also they are telling generating scholarly content with chart GPT ethical challenges for medical or pu publishing so this impact of generative artificial intelligence AI based you know paper or medical publishing practices is currently unknown however as our experiences underline generative AI could have substantial ethical implication and that might lead to you know if somebody might have published that might lead to retraction in a later phase so you might be knowing about retraction you might have published and when you know after pub published version also people might scan it you know the editor or the publisher or the reviewer board they might scan it and if they found something unethical practices implication then again it might be retracted from the journal so why to do that you know just uh, hold your thought emotion and you know thing and to to carry on with our traditional approach of research practices that we used to follow for a time being where you are not sure what is coming up and as with uh, that that normal that happens when we have some facility or some empowered tool with us and you know it will be giving you sort of easy way of uh, ease of doing thing and uh, people tempted to do it but we need to hold our thought again as uh, you see Stanford again they are they are telling that Stanford introduces detect GPT to help educator fight back against chat, chat GPT generated paper so you know again to fight back this from the publisher side or from the university side or from ethical um, perspective you know academician they are coming with their you know strategies or their weapon to to detect those paper which is being generated with chart GPT so first thing is anything which you know earlier there was not AI empowered but other tools which will help to you know create or to uh, to fabricate paper so those were totally unethical now it is telling AI and power so simply something being generated with your queries or with your question yes, some you know result has been generated and simply uh, copying and pasting in your own paper it's totally unethical so first thing that we need to understand and to have certain health that is a different thing 
to uh, to to do review but again why i'm not going in detail of it once you know the use of it how you are going to use of it then you will feel uh, this this is more easy you know uh, you have a shortcut way to to go and to reach your destination but you know like uh, if we follow any shortcut route for longer you know for uh, longer uh, i can say the academic journey or the research journey it is not advisable so that is what we need to understand again another thing that i like to share this i got it yesterday this mail in february so this is from the springer nature for the this editorial newsletter to all the editor and editorial board member uh, they are saying that you know they uh, i am sure that you will heard of chart gpt and that being launched in uh, november 2022 and uh, blah 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 and this is something like large language model you might be knowing llm this llm based chart gpt so the use of it do not currently satisfy the authorship criteria of springer nature that so uh, might be applicable for other publisher also so what i like to share now you might be knowing you know whether to use it or not and it is always with your you know uh, it will be your choice to use the technology that are given to you but how to use it when to use it and ethically how we'll be using it that is what important so